y'all been having a, a blessed Sunday or a blessed, a blessed rest of your week. I was a little sick this week, and uh, you know, sometimes you, you be a little sick, but you got to get back up because God heals you. And it's time it's time to preach. You know what I mean? Amen. That's right. So uh, I want to thank y'all for uh, being here today. I want to make sure everybody have ears to hear and uh, allow me to speak the word truly and let the Holy Spirit guide me as I. Speak the word of God. Let it be Amen. all of you and none of me. In Jesus' name that I do pray. Amen. Amen. So first I would like to say this. Um, I know it's youth service, service today, but at the same time, uh, I would like to say that even if you're a youth, you're 20, you're 19, you're 18, you're 21, it doesn't matter how old you are, you're still going to be judged when it comes to your day of judgment. Amen. When it comes to your day of judgment, it's you and the Father. You know, it's not going to be, oh, you was 20 years old. Oh, you was 21 years old. You know, it's not going to be that. It's just going to be you and your judgment. That's what I got to say to the young folks today. Amen. You got to pick a side. See if you're going to go to heaven or you're going to go to hell. It's not in between. It's no in between that. That's right. So that's what I'm going to say right now. But my first verse, I'm going I'm to go to Psalms 5 and 5. Uh, when you got to say Amen. Like the pastor say, I won't be here before you long. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Mike. Psalms 5 and 5. Amen. 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 Right. It says, the foolish shall not stand in thy sight, thou hatest all workers of iniquity. When it says that, what what, what rings it a bell in you? Do you do you act foolish? Do you think do things not according to scripture? Because I feel like a lot of times people do not pick up their Bibles and read and study and, and, and put in their time and effort into reading God's word and to understanding what is the things that God doesn't like? What are the things that God doesn't want me to do so I can inherit the kingdom of heaven? You know, these are, there's many things that we do <laughs> outside of church that we don't let people know while we're inside the church. Are we gossiping about our neighbor? Are we doing things that are not according to the scripture? Are we getting wasted? Are we getting drunk? Are we not being sober? Are we, are we, are we drinking? These are things that we have to look into because we want to inherit the kingdom of heaven. You know, we want to do things that will allow us to get to the place where the Father is. That's right. That's right. So we want to do things that are aligned to the scripture and according to the Bible. Now, the, the thing is, if we're not picking up our Bible on a daily, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, then how are we supposed to uh, study? God said, don't be hearers of the word, be doers of the word. Amen. So if we're, going to be, if we're going to be hearers, we might as well be doers as well. Okay? So now I'm going to 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Come on, come on. Uh, when you got it, uh, say amen. Amen. Oh, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. It says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So, how many of us today are scared to spread the gospel to everybody? And, and, and the, uh, God told, Jesus told us, the apostles, to preach to all nations. How many of us are fearful that somebody is going to ridicule us or somebody is going to insult us because we're preaching the gospel? Amen. I'm going to tell y'all something. Peter, <laughs> Peter, Got put into, got put into uh, a prison. And also, Peter got crucified upside down. He said that he was going to be on no cross like, his, like, like Jesus was. So crucify him upside down. We are scared to get insulted. We are scared to get in an argument. Because we don't want to preach the gospel. Now let me ask you something. What spirit are you wondering? What spirit are you wondering? Because it says God hasn't given us a spirit of fear. 
fear. Fear. But of power. So power to us, for us to be able to be bold. Power for us to be able to stand up in front of anybody and preach the gospel. You know, I, I, I preach the gospel on the media uh, a lot of times, and I get hate all the time. But as I look at that, I see it as, oh, wow, the, the prophets, the apostles, they, they, they got ridiculed. Amen. They got insulted. Even Peter got crucified upside down. I can't take a little insult from a community that don't even belong to me because I'm supposed to be set apart. I'm supposed to be set apart. So what do I look like being insulted or being scared? That doesn't look right. Jesus got slashed and whipped and put a crown of thorns on his head. But we can't go out and we can't just get insulted. Okay. And it also says that God gives us, but he gives us power. You know, and he also gives us love, you know, love to love our enemies, love to love our neighbor. You know what I mean? You know, you know, uh, there was a, it's a situation on my job, which I knew I couldn't do on my own. Somebody, I, I work with child care, somebody gave me a false accusation, you know what I mean? And I was hurt. I was like, God, like, what is it, what is going on? What, what should I do in this moment? Because what she is saying about me is not true. It's a false accusation. And he said, love. I said, love your enemies as you love yourself. So I, I had to love. I had to forgive. And as I seen that, I seen that as a spiritual warfare. I seen it not as somebody attacking me physically. We got to start looking in the spiritual. We can't start. We can't. We got to stop. We, we, we got to stop looking in the physical. Oh, that person's trying to attack me. We do not know the demons or the person that. Uh, we do not know the demons or the stuff that's going on in the spiritual realm. So we got to be bold enough to love our enemies. And to also to have a sound mind. It also says it gives us a sound mind. That means don't be drinking and partying and your mind is not sound. Your mind is not good with the Lord when you do stuff. Like my pastor Raymond always say, be sober. Be diligent. So it's, it's time for us to have a sound mind and be ready and be prepared for whatever the devil tries to throw at us. It's spiritual warfare. Come it's not somebody on. trying to attack you. It. It. It's spiritual right. warfare. On, okay. On, now my uh, other other uh, verses, First Corinthians ten and twenty one. Come on here. Okay. When you got it, say amen. First Corinthians uh, 10 and 21. It says, Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and of the table of demons. So do you go out and drink and you go out and act like you ain't got no sense and you partying like you ain't got no sense? Can somebody tell that you are set apart? Can somebody tell that you are doing the, the, the work of the kingdom when you're doing stuff that is not of God? Are you partaking and in indulging in things that are simple? We have to worry about these things so we can inherit the kingdom of heaven. We do not want to stand in front of the throne of God and God is ashamed of us calling each other, uh, 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 we calling each other saints, but we not acting like saints outside of church. We should be saints on Sunday. We should be saints on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Come on, come on. We cannot partake. You cannot drink a cup of the Lord and a cup of demons at the same time. It doesn't work that way. Okay? Now I'm going to be reading for Proverbs 6 and, 6, uh, 6 and 16 and 19. It says, There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. It says, Haughty eyes. It says, Prideful. God hates pride. First comes pride, then comes destruction. Are you so prideful that you can't say sorry to your brother or sister? Are you so prideful that you can't even look at your brother and sister and I and have a conversation and those are, look at some argument you had two weeks ago. Come on here. Come on. We, 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 we got to know not, not to hold on to pride. Yeah. There, God, God told us to, when we repent, we must renew our mind of old things and okay. make them become new. Come on here. That's what repent means, renewal of mind. Come on. So if you have a prideful mind, you think, oh, I can't be wrong all the time. Oh, I'm better than that person because I got a car. I got a better car than that person. 
Oh, I'm better because I got better money than that person. Oh, I'm better because I I, I, I indulge a better job than that person. Think about that. That's pride. Yeah. God made the rich and the poor. And, and Jesus also said it's hard. It's going to be hard for a rich person to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Why? Hallelujah. Why? Because a person that rich, they rely on their riches. They don't rely on Jesus himself. So we must rely on Jesus no matter how much money we have. No matter how, 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 how big your car is. Oh, I got a 2022. Oh, good for you. But are you good with Jesus, though? Okay. This is another thing that God does not like. He does not, he does not like a lying tongue. He doesn't like somebody that constantly lying and constantly saying false, false, false things about somebody. You know? So we got to work on that. You know, back when I was younger, whoa, whoa. I used to, I used, to, I, I used to love to uh, make my story sound better than it already was. Like, oh yeah, that happened, yeah, yeah, yeah. But as I got back into my scripture, into the Bible, I realized, oh man, I can't be doing that no more. I can't be lying and trying to make my story sound better than it already was. <laughs> All right. It's a head that shed innocent blood. That's another thing that is detestable. Or God does not, God hates these things. You know, a lot of people be like, oh, I ain't never killed nobody. You know, but God said, if you look at your brother with hate, you already committed a, a murder in, in your heart. Wow. Yeah. So let's not look at our brother or sister with hate. And I know this generation, my generation, we quick to hate on our brother. We quick to uh, 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 be, oh, I'm part of this game. Oh, I'm part of this game. You ain't part of no game. You need to be reading the scriptures According to what you need to be learning, so you won't be that way. You know what I mean? All right, all right, man. Okay. Come on here. Come on. It says, "Fit that are <laughs> fit that are quick to rush into evil." Uh -huh. You know, when I, I, this is another story when I was younger, man. So it was a fight at my school. I'd be right over there trying to record. My, my, I remember my girl telling me, "Mom, that's that's not right. Why are you going over there recording your fight?" I'm like, "This is a fight. I want to go see." But that's that, that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a feat that are so quick to rush into evil. That's two people's demons arguing and they fight it. Yeah, they're trying to make each other they're trying to hurt each other, make each other bleed. And I'm over there indulging and recording and acting like it's a funny joke, like it's like it's all cool. Yeah, come on. Dustin, that's my brother and my sister. There was I acting set apart when when I when I was indulging and recording it and laughing around because two people fight it? Heck no. All right. It says a false witness that pours out lies. Mm -hmm. So let's not make false witnesses and, and pour out lies. You know, we got to be truthful at all times. Okay. There's something about lying that the Lord just don't like. And I'm going to be the one that's dealing with that. <laughs> so we got to work on that. But this is another one. And say, stir up conflict in the community. Oh, hey, young people, my my my, my African American community, that's Come a game. That's selling drugs to your neighbor. Come on here. You know, that's that's even hurting somebody that, that is even uh next to you at a gas station. Come on. Oh, I don't like you, but get away from me. You look homeless. That's hurting that's putting conflict in your community. Because a homeless person going to think, oh wait, this person doesn't like me because I'm homeless. This person treat me different because I'm this type of person. That's stirring up conflict in your community, and you will be judged for that. You will be held accountable for that on the day of judgment. All right. I got, I got a few more. Like I said, I won't be here before you long. It says Hebrews 12 and 6. It says, because the Lord disciplined one he loves, he chastised everyone he accepted as his son. How, how many of us getting chastised today? How many of us? How many of us? Don't listen to the Lord's discipline. Amen. Hmm? On, we man. need to be able to listen to the Lord's discipline so he can guide us in the right path. Because the Lord wants us to inherit the kingdom of heaven. But if we are not getting chastised, time, or we're not getting disciplined by the word, then what are we learning? What is the Holy Spirit teaching us? Yeah. Yeah. If you're not being disciplined, if you're not getting chastised by the Holy Spirit, then you need to check the Spirit. I know I'd be quick to do something, something that's not aligned in the scripture. I, 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 so I know. Oh, what I do? 
then I have to think about what I did, and I have to realign myself to the scripture. Come on. A lot of us don't want to align ourselves to the scripture. Yeah. We want to take on ears. We want us to make us feel good. We want to feel good all the time. We don't want to hear a message that is, is, that is going to convict us. Yeah, yeah. Man, get that conviction so you can inherit the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Come on. It says John 15 and 18 say, if the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. When I first started media, um, I had a lot of like people t talking like I, I, like, I, like I was crazy, like, oh, your Lord is not real or anything of that nature. But I remember Jesus saying, if the world hates you, know that it has hated me before you. You know, that means I'm in the right direction. Right. Right. God said, be glad when people persecute you. That means you're in the right direction. Now, if people ain't persecuting you, now if, if somebody's not talking about you, or you're not being persecuted, what spirit do you have? That's what I'm saying. Right. It says, if the world hated, hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. Wow. So it's time for us to check ourselves. It's time for us to see, is these people hating me or these people love me? Mm -hmm. You know, we have to think about that. I'm going to read this. James 4 and 4 says, you adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Yes, yes, yes. You know who else is an enemy against God? Bro? Mm -hmm. Who is it? Yeah. Satan. Do you want to be right the law behind him? Right. Hell was made for Satan and his demons. Do you want to be right behind him? We got human bodies. If we go to hell, we're going to be thirsty. If we go to hell, we, we still going to be feeling the worst of our flesh and getting tormented. It's not worth it. So let's not be friends of the world. We're told to be set apart. So let's be set apart. Amen. Let me read this. Luke 9 and 26 says, If anyone is ashamed of me and my message, the Son of Man will be ashamed of that person when he returns in his glory and in the glory of the Father and the Holy Angel. How many of y'all ashamed of the word today? How many of y'all go 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 to uh, go somewhere or y'all go party and y'all not acting holy at all? Y'all go to work and nobody know you say. Wow. You just acting like you. Come on here. You act like you ain't got no sense. You got sent by your sister and she right right next to you. You got sent by your brother and he right next to you. Oh, well, I'm like him. I'm like her. Why? Because God says, love your enemies as you love yourself. Amen. So basically, if you're ashamed of the gospel, if you're ashamed to tell people about the gospel, Jesus is going to see you on your day, or you're going to be on your day of judgment, and you you won't hear Jesus, <sighs> what? What's going on? I've been knowing you my whole life, Jesus, what's going on? Mm -hmm. what, what? What? You were ashamed of me, and now I'm ashamed of you. Wow. And you think that's not going to hurt you? Come on. Somebody that you was following out your whole life, since you was young, since you was three, you was, you was going to church and everything, but you was ashamed of him, so he's going to be ashamed of you. Amen. I'd be mad if, if, if not my father, my father, you know, I love my father, you know, my, my physical dad, yeah. you know, I, 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 I wish somebody would be, be ashamed of my father, you know what I mean? I'm never going to be ashamed of my dad, because I love my dad. Amen. Amen. The thing about my dad is just, <laughs> so why, why would I want to be ashamed of my father? Okay. Next. I won't be here before you long. <laughs> this is Revelation 3 and 16. So then because thou art lukewarm, that means you were in the middle. You are of the world and you were trying to be of God at the same time. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Yes, yes. That means you want to be in the world, and you want to be with God at the same time. That's not how it works. It's either you set apart or you not. We gotta read our word to make sure we are set apart. Because how many of y'all want to be spewed out the mouth of the Lord? I know I don't want to be spewed out. I want to do everything according to the scripture and follow the commands because. It's, it's, it's important that we don't get spewed out so we can inherit. This word is only temporary. We don't want to be insulted. We don't want to be hurt. But this word is only temporary. Yes. You know, this word is only temporary. We got to remember that. 
This world is a is passing. The Solomon saying in the Bible that this world is just a passing. He was the richest man here. He said it's just a passing breeze. You hear one day, then you hear next. God forbid, but I could die in 20 minutes from now. How is God going to see me now? Right. We don't we don't know if we're gonna make it out of this building. Come on here. But we, but we, we, we got, we, we got to do what we got to do, Amen. so we won't be spilled out. Amen. All right, this is Romans two and six. It said God will repay each person according to what they have done. Listen to this. This don't mean this. This ain't good or bad. This is good. This can be good or bad. Though. Yeah. You know, you, 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 you murder your neighbor. That, that's going to be. You won't repay for that on your day of judgment. Mm -hmm. Or did you help your neighbor? You're gonna repay. You, he gonna repay you for what you have done here. Now, do you want when you go to heaven and he say you ain't even doing nothing for my kingdom? Here you go. Like I, I, I ain't got nothing. What's going on? You didn't do nothing to inherit my kingdom. You didn't do nothing. To, you didn't preach the gospel to nobody. You thought when you was here that you was cool. You thought that though you can't. You didn't have to teach no gospel. I'm, I'm already got everything I got here. Let's make sure that we're preaching the gospel so we can get rewarded in heaven. I, who wants to be rewarded in heaven? Amen. I know I do. Amen. You know, God also said that stuff in heaven is imperishable. That means this stuff here, this right here, this right here, this can rust. This can rust out. It be gone. This stuff in heaven, it can't rust. Right. This cross in heaven, we won't have one on that forever. If that will get you excited, then I don't know what else will get you excited. Okay. Okay, this is really important right here. Okay, this is Matthew 18 and 3. It says, I tell you the truth. Unless you turn around and become like a little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. A lot of us are too stubborn. Or, you know, a kid, man, I work in child care. They think they... Think. They think they're teaching me. I mean, they, they think I'm teaching them, but they're actually teaching me. I, I was doing this. I was clapping my hands. And the, and, and the kid started doing it. He's been next to me. I said, hey, man, what are you doing, Jackson? I'm copying you, Mr. Mike. I said, why? I just love when you do that. I said, you love when I clap my hands. Why? He said, I don't know. That, that shows you that kid, they, 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 not, they, they listen. You know, they, 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 anything that you do, they love. We should love everything that the Lord does. Yeah. yeah. We should be willing to submit to what the Lord tells us to do. Amen. If, a, if I tell a kid, hey man, you're doing too much, go sit down. Kid be like, Mr. Lord, but I, uh, they ain't going to have no choice, but they go sit down because they know that you are in authority. Mm -hmm. We know that the Lord is in authority of our lives, so we should be listening to him. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be stubborn. We should be listening to what the Lord tells us to do. Amen. You know? And also, what else do children do? As I'm studying children, I'm looking at them, I'm looking, I see how they act. These two kids, these two kids fighting. I, I work with four-year-olds, twelve of them. Oh. These, 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 these two kids fighting. They, they arguing. I'm like, dang, they arguing. Two minutes later, they cool with each other. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, how y'all do that? But as I'm looking, that means that they love their enemy, not they love themselves. They don't even see it like that. They see it like, oh, we argue. Let's get back together and let's go back with these toys. Right. Let's go do Mr. Michael and Simon. Yeah. That's how we should be treating each other. Right. I'm going to read that again. This, that's important for us to know. I tell you the truth. Unless you turn around and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Right. So let's listen. Okay? I only got two more verses. I won't be here before you move. <laughs> okay, this is uh, Revelation 20 and 15. It says, and whoever was not found written in the Lamb Book of Life was cast to the lake of fire. We want to be written in that Lamb Book of Life. We do not want to live our life. In this, the, the, uh, I remember looking into this thing on YouTube, and it's basic instructions before leaving Earth. That's what, the, that's what somebody said the Bible said. Basic instructions before leaving earth. So, I mean, this is our basic instructions. This right here, this Bible, is basic instructions before we leave earth. So, let's make sure we're doing stuff according to the scripture so we won't be cast into the lake of fire. It's either heaven or hell, there's no in between. There's no, oh, I can, I can do this and I can, I can be on both sides. Ain't no both sides. Ain't no both sides. So why are we so why are we so worried about the stuff in this world when we have a whole second earth and a new heaven that we need to be worried about? Amen. Amen. 
So let's make sure that we're written in the land book of life. We follow what the scriptures say. We just don't listen to the pastor because the pastor's only here on Sunday. He helps you. He tries to, he, he's, he's guiding you to where you need to be. So let Jesus guide you and the Holy Spirit guide you also by reading your Bible every week. Amen. 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 And it also it says in the Bible, study to show yourself approved. Yeah. So God wants us to be confident when we see him on his throne. He doesn't want us to be, oh, I didn't, I didn't know him. I don't, uh, he doesn't want you to be that way when you meet him. He wants you to be like, I did what you said. I did it to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. Now, how many of y'all going to go up to the Lord and be like, how? I, I didn't really preach the gospel. I, I was scared. God said cowards when I ain't here to get them to heaven. Mm -hmm. Cowards is somebody that's scared to talk about the word. Don't be scared to talk about the word. We got to be stand. We got to stand foot. And, 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 and guess what? We got something good coming to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. This is the last verse. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Amen. This is Philippians 4 and 6. If you're, not, if you're not doing the things according to Scripture, or you're not doing things that you need help, because we all, we all struggle. The pastor struggles. Yeah. First lady struggles. Amen. My dad struggles. My mama struggles. Every single one of us struggles. I struggle. But guess what? It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. So if you're not doing things along the Scripture, pray. Yes. You know? I'm, I'm going to also call myself out on this. I had a serious addiction of, I'm saying, I had an addiction of porn. I did. Amen. Amen. But if I'm going to be a man, I got to be, I got to be stand up and, and tell everybody this. Because God said, tell people about what you go through so we yeah. can all fight together and get this. Amen. As I was doing it, man, I was, I was looking up and I said, God, man, I don't want to be doing this no more. He said, then, then pray. Well, you don't pray to me. You don't even talk to me. I said, I'm not talking to you. I said, can I go to church every Sunday? That's everybody. Everybody want to pull that. I go to church every Sunday. Everybody want to pull that. Come on, Come on. And I'm sitting. I'm like, man, I'm crying. I'm like, I'm gonna watch this crap. <laughs> and as I'm looking at it, man, I'm like, Lord, help me. God, me to where I need to be. You know? He said, just follow me, son, and I will help you. And as that day went forth, uh, uh, you know, th th I'm, a, I'm, I'm a young man. Sometimes I, I can fall, I can, I can fall into a lust from time to time, or I can fall like, oh look, she looks, she looks, I, 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 I look away, I, I can't look. <laughs> you know, that's not what I want to do. But as a man, I got, I got to stand foot and say what I struggle with because we all struggle with something. Come on. Come on. So instead, don't worry about anything. Instead, of pray about anything. Right. If you stumble, pray. Yeah. If you listen, pray. If you look at your brother and you hate him, pray. If you think you can't, if you think you can't get up in the morning, your leg wobbling, you walking weird, pray. If, if if you if you looking around and everybody amongst you are sinners and you the only person that's supposed to be set apart, pray. God is telling us to pray. We gotta pray, ladies and gentlemen. Pray before we eat. Pray when we go to bed. Pray when we wake up in the morning. I know this generation, when we get up in the morning, this is something I'm guilty to as well. When we go in the morning, get right on my phone. <laughs> I'm going to get on my phone. Let me check my notifications right quick. Come on here. <laughs> when we get up, we should be praying to the most high. Amen. Come on. You know, when we, when, when, we go, when we go from work back home, we need to be praying to the most high. Amen. Amen. This is another thing I'm going to say. We need to make sure we have a relationship with Jesus Christ. If people think you're talking to yourself while you're in the car and you're talking and you're on the road, talk to you. Need to be talking to, you need to be talking to Jesus at all times. You at work, man, you're crazy. You're talking to yourself. No, I'm talking to Jesus. God said we, we, look, we look bizarre to the normal person. We don't look, we look, we look different. We, we, we're, not, we're, not, we're not of this world. We're set apart. So if we're talking to somebody, just let them know you're talking to Jesus. They're not going to understand because they don't have a relationship with Jesus. But we do. If you look crazy, oh well. But guess who don't think you look crazy? Jesus. And Jesus is the only person I'm mad at. Alright, that's what I have to say. Thank you guys for listening. Just remember everything that I'm saying. I'm going to thank y'all for everything.
Wasn't it a wonderful word? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mike.